Good afternoon from a originally was grey but now it's starting to perk up a bit sunny Peterborough so I've just got another little video just a bit of an update firstly concerning these things I've noticed that the fish are getting a little bit frantic at the moment so I've bought myself uh, a couple of spawning brushes the thing about these is this is quite new to me I've been successful many many years ago in getting some babies but unfortunately due to my lack of knowledge the parents ate them all and that was the end of that so I'm going to put them in the pond and see what happens and hopefully if I do manage to get some eggs I'm going to put them inside a close woven net and put them in the upper pond where they'll be in relative safety but we shall see it's all a bit trial and error at the moment uh, moving on I've sandblasted uh, well not sandblasted I've jet washed all my paving stones and they're looking pretty good now all the colors have come back out really happy with that my neighbor blesser gave me some old bench ends that were falling apart and asked if I could restore them so I've just restored this chair, found some uh, wood in the garage and that's what we are up to at the moment. The pond itself, you can see the fish moving around, it's been very murky over the last few days because I've been treeing it for blanket weed. Last year I was probably one of the lucky ones and did one treatment of um, Aqua Resolve. I'll show you the tub in a second but it took one dose and that were it. Uh, happy days. I'm hoping that this year is the same. It's already had one dose about three days ago. And as I say, it's still a bit murky. You can still see the fish moving around. But hopefully that'll clear before long. Today's outside and inside temperatures are this. Like I said, it was a bit gloomy this morning. Not too bad now, perking up. And uh, inside the greenhouse, this is the product that I used for the blanket weed. Um, there's many products on the market. I guess they're all pretty much of a much, but this one in particular did work for me. Um, just to let you know that I'm not sponsored by Aqua Sauce or anything like that. I had to buy this. This is a one kilo tub and due to the size of my pond I only needed to use a 250 mil cup for four applications so but there is that so that's what I used and that's where we are all my wife's plants are coming out she's quite happy with those don't ask me what they are because I'm not green fingered at all they're just plants with leaves as far as I know but it keeps her happy this one's looking a bit grim but well whatever she'll sort it out um, I'm still looking at ways to improve as as we all are um, the top up pipe that I did have in the top of the skimmer after I put the skimmer guard in, not the skimmer basket, I'll just take this off. You remember a green pipe that was just basically lazily thrown across the top? That has now got an elbow in so I can get to uh, all the basket. Food has got through there. I'm not sure why the koi are doing it but they're basically tasting the food munching it a little bit and spitting the rest out. I can't understand that, but I've ordered some uh, Evolu uh, Evolution Aqua food, which will be delivered next week, hopefully. And just an outside look at the top up. And again, I'm pretty much trying to keep everything nice and neat. And that's just the top up pipe, 15 mil plastic pipe and that, that's quite tidy we are still talking about hiding this with some kind of half barrel or a terracotta pot 
Uh, water blades have been mentioned and I do, do appreciate the input but I've already got a water blade. I just want to try something different. I've tried putting uh, pieces of stone under there and slates but I think we'll have to go for something man-made and uh, just create some kind of feature. But in the meantime, as we're in lockdown, that's what we're stuck with. So that's about it really. Just a shot of the garden. As we're all on lockdown, the garden's getting tidier and tidier by the day. But sooner or later, we'll uh, get rid of the coronavirus and we can all go out and enjoy ourselves. So in the meantime, I'm going to sit in my new chair and this is the view that I get when I'm sat having my cup of tea and being from Yorkshire I do enjoy my tea so happy ponding, stay safe don't forget your two metres thank you